More than three months after the Maui wildfires, debris removal is ongoing in both Lahaina and upcountry. But many victims still have not registered to have their properties cleared. Mark Carpenter has more. The Maui wildfires catastrophe destroyed close to 3,500 homes. And as cleanup operations continue in Lahaina and upcountry, County Council Vice Chair Yukile Sugimura tells us 900 property owners have signed right of entry forms to have the government remove debris from their property. She says most in her district, which includes Kula and Olinda, have signed up for the government-sponsored removal, as the alternate option of individual cleanup is a tall task. The difficulty for individuals to be able to do it on your own, which a lot of people are anxious and they just want to do it, is that number one, you have to have a contractor that knows what they're doing. Number two, you're going to have to follow the same rules of safety and security um, and health. Meaning debris packing needs to be done under specific regulations used by the Army Corps of Engineers to prevent toxic ash and dust from going airborne. There's also the issue of cost. Private removal comes with a high price. They're at risk of having to pay for their own cleanup, which can cost $70,000. Um, and that's concerning. I mean, these people are already facing hardship. And once we move past this phase, you know, it's, it's going to be it's going to be hard to go backwards. Kuhio Lewis and the Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement have spent months working directly with wildfire victims. He cites a number of hurdles in the cleanup registration shortage, including communication about resources available, possible distrust in government and survivors still processing the trauma of the disaster. I think it's a matter of of navigating a very complex situation. They're trying to apply for rental assistance. They're trying to find housing. They're trying to do all of these things and then being asked to sign papers for right of entry. So it's just getting caught up in the very complex recovery process. Sugimura also understands the challenges involved and spent the weekend monitoring cleanup efforts in Kula. She encourages survivors to sign up as the professionals approach removal with the utmost care and attention to detail. To some degree, you're going to have to trust that, you know, the decisions that are being made is for the best betterment of the entire community, as well as the property owner, you know, to remove the debris, but also for the safety of the neighbors. For those interested in registering, we've included a link on our website. Mark Carpenter, Hawaii News Now. And more